So what you're going to have to do is install GitHub Desktop. What this is, is this is a graphical user interface to the repo that's installed on the GitHub servers. So the way to think about this is you have a folder on your hard drive where you're throwing all your files in. Well, GitHub is giving you essentially free access to one of to creating a folder on their hard drive. And that's really fast that you and your team can um, work in. All right, so once you install that, uh, another thing you're going to do is you're going to have to actually go to github.com. You can see here I created my own repo. Um, and you're going to have to sign in. And then lastly, you're going to have to install a copy of Unity. Um, all of these things are pretty self-explanatory. You download, you run the installer, and that's that. Let's take a look at actually creating a um, our first repo. So I'm going to do that through the GitHub desktop application. So I'm going to pause the video and open that up. All right, so here we are. I have some projects already open if I click here that I've already created. So what we're going to do is make a new one. So we're going to go to File, New Repo. And I like to keep all of my repos in one central location, and that's usually in Documents GitHub. So if we go here to my Documents folder, you can see here's all of those projects. So when I go to create one here, so I'm going to make the repo here called uh, Psycho H or Psycho Heart. I mean, it's a the game that we're looking at is creating is about is for a psychologist who goes through some heartbreak. So we're going to go to instead of for our Git ignore here, we're going to select none. And then we're going to go all the way down here to Unity. Now, the git ignore file, what it does is it ignores all of the files that you don't need to share with your your team. So these are Unity, uh, essentially, like library files and things like that that would be catered to just what your machine needs and not what your team needs. Now, there's an issue here. This git ignore file, I've noticed, isn't up to date. So I'm going to paste in the description an updated, um, just kind of git ignore chunk that you can use that I found works pretty good. So I'm going to hit Create Repository. And once that's created, you'll notice that now I have a Psycho Heart folder in here. And I'm going to go ahead and fire up Unity and uh, create inside this Psycho Heart folder a, a clean uh, Unity project. All right, so here's a bunch of old projects. So I'm going to click New here. And I'm going to navigate to this GitHub folder here. And you'll notice that it found this Psycho Heart folder because it was the last one created within this. And I'm going to hit Select Folder. And in here, I'm just going to give my project the name of PH, just a working title, and I'm going to hit Create. I'm going to let Unity go ahead and create that. Now, there's a couple things you have to make sure that you do when you begin to create or you're setting up your Git with the Unity project. So for one, go to Project Settings, Editor. We want to make sure this is on Force Text. And then the next one is above it under version control mode. And remember, we're in the editor here. We want to make sure that meta files are hidden. And then I'm going to close this, and I'm just going to hit Control S. Now, when I go back to GitHub, what you're going to notice is we have a ton of 300 changes. And you're like, is that what it's supposed to be? And the reality is no. So I'm going to show you how to clean these out. So I'm going to close this Unity project. And inside my PsychoHeart folder, PH, I only want to check in my assets and my project settings. I'm going to hit delete. And I'm going to go back into here, and 21 is more like it. Now, remember, we created that git ignore file. So why didn't it ignore it from the get-go when I brought this in? And remember I mentioned earlier that our git ignore file is not set up correctly. So I'll give you an example. If we go to here and we expand this get ignore file, and you'll notice we have all this great stuff. I have another one set up here. I'm going to go into this get ignore file, which has all the extra junk. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to select this and paste over it. You can notice I have a second section of all this Visual Studio stuff. I'm going to save this one, close it out. I'm going to leave this one open, just, just for the sake of it. Now, you'll notice. It just gave me 22 because it's updating my git ignore file. It added that. Now watch this. If I reopen my Unity project here, and I open this up, and all right, here we are with Unity open. I shrink this. Notice it went to 24 changes with it open and not 300. So that's why the initial git one is not updated enough. So what I can do here is I can just type in init, so the initialize repo, 
So it's kind of like our first thing of the project. Copy that, paste it, commit that to master, and now I can even check in files. Uh, well, I can publish my repo to it with my Unity project open and it won't affect it. And once it publishes, I can push, uh, well, once we publish, it is pushed, but if we go back to our GitHub here, our repo, I can look at the types of repos I have. One of them being PsychoHard, it's my last one. You can see there is our initial comment, commit, and our initial reposition repo here. And that was five minutes ago, and then this is 25 seconds ago, which is great. The last thing I wanna show you is when you're creating a new project, a lot of times you wanna copy assets or code from other projects that you might've been working on. So I'm gonna fire up Unity Hub. And in the next video, what I actually do is create a point and click um, sort of adventure uh, like I'm start, we're starting to build our point and click in the next videos as we do actually the movement we click and I want to just migrate that in and I show you how to code this in the next one and set up the scene. So let me pause this while this is open. Now this is the code we're going to make in the next video where I can click around and move my character and I want to get all this and I don't want to have to redo this every single time I create another point and click adventure game. So on the assets folder here I'm just going to right click and I'm going to hit export package and I'm gonna hit export. And on my desktop, I'm just gonna do P and K. So maybe point and click, and that would be the package. And I'm gonna hit the, on the desktop, I'm just gonna save that. There it is. Close this out, because we don't really need this anymore. Back here in our uh, PH folder, I'm gonna right click on assets, import package, custom package, and then I'm gonna select P and K unity package, and I'm gonna hit import. Now we are going to get an error, and the reason for that is in the other project we learn about this thing called Pro Builder, and we don't have that installed in here. So if I go to Scenes here and I open up my test bed, which is what you're going to create next time, you'll notice this is all pink. Well, you want to make sure that you always install all of the packages you've had in the previous project that um, you're copying your code from. So here is my Pro Builder. I'm going to go ahead and install. I'm going to pause this. All right, so here we are. Uh, I'm going to close this out. Now you'll notice it's no longer pink, and when I press play, I can click and move around and all this good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And if I go to my GitHub desktop, you'll see we only have about 53 changes, and none of them are from library or junk files. They're all either assets or uh, packages. So I can say point and, you know, click code in. Just letting my team, or for now me, know if I go back three months from now, like, what was that repo about that command? And then we go ahead and hit push, and it's going to push it up to the origin. And if we look here, and I refresh it a couple times, and point and click code in 10 seconds ago. Um, and yeah, that looks good. So in the next video, we're, you'll take a look at how we can start doing this.